You can boost crop yields, improve livestock production, keep your farm weed free, increase value of crops produced, and boost your net profit at the same time by taking advantage of today's remarkable agricultural chemicals. And a modern John Deere sprayer that gives you fast, accurate, uniform coverage and is easy to operate. There are four models, two types, and a dozen and one uses for these John Deere sprayers. The two integral sprayers, the Model 10 and Model 20, mount on any tractor with a standard three-point hitch and a PTO to operate the sprayer's pump. The two pull types, the Model 29 and Model 31, can be used with any tractor having a PTO. To match your exact needs, John Deere sprayers can be equipped with a variety of PTO-powered pumps with different capacities and pressures. Let's look first at the handy Model 10. It comes regularly equipped with a rack to hold one 55-gallon drum, a six-row aluminum boom, and a PTO-powered six-roller gray iron pump. A two-drum rack gives the Model 20 a 110-gallon spray capacity. It also is regularly equipped with a six-row aluminum boom and a PTO six-roller gray iron pump. The 10 and 20 sprayers are easy to attach to any standard three-point hitch, forming a close-coupled, easy-to-maneuver rig. Note how easily the controls are reached from the tractor seat. Here's the economical pull-type Model 29. It has a six-row square steel boom and a PTO six-roller gray iron pump. It has a mounting bracket to hold two 55-gallon drums or this 110-gallon plastic-lined steel tank. This sprayer is loaded with features you'll find convenient. The heavy-duty, big-capacity pull-type Model 31 comes regularly equipped with an eight-row aluminum boom and a PTO eight-roller corrosion-resistant pump. It has a 200-gallon translucent fiberglass reinforced plastic tank or this optional frame to hold three 55-gallon drums, giving it a capacity of 165 gallons. Eight-row booms are available for the 10, 20, and 29 sprayers. By attaching a boom extension nozzle to each end of a boom, you can increase coverage seven feet each direction. The 40-foot coverage shown here is for an eight-row boom. This easy-to-use selective control valve is a special feature of the 10, 20, and 31 sprayers. It lets you apply chemicals from the right, left, and center booms independently, or any combination of three booms. On jobs such as spraying roadsides, you'll find selective control a real chemical and money saver. The economical 29 sprayer has dual two-position valves that also are easy to use. They allow operating either half of the boom independently or both together. Another special feature of the 29 sprayer is its adjustable wheel tread. To change from the 75-inch tread shown here, you simply pull two pins on each side and swing both wheels to the inside for a 51-inch wheel tread. This feature enables you to work in row spacings from 24 to 40 inches. To change nozzle spacings on the 29 sprayer, you merely loosen one bolt and slide nozzles closer together or farther apart on this square steel boom. The boom on the 29 sprayer can be lowered to 17 inches above the ground, or raised to a height of 46 inches. There are 30 and 3 fourths inches of clearance under the 29's frame when using 760 by 15 tires. The hitch and frame on the 29 sprayer have plenty of strength to carry its 110 gallon spray load at fast working speeds over rough fields. Will the operator please turn the record? The 31 sprayer has a heavy-duty frame and hitch to give it extra strength to support the greater weight of its 200-gallon load. The boom on the 31 sprayer raises to a maximum working height of 36 inches and lowers to a minimum height of 12 inches. 
There is ample clearance under the booms on the 10 and 20 sprayers. However, this special high clearance boom frame for the 10 sprayer enables farmers who prefer the convenience of an integral model to spray tall crops, such as tobacco. There are three ways you can vary application rates with a John Deere sprayer to obtain exactly the rate you want per acre. By driving faster or slower, by changing pump pressure, or switching nozzles. Nozzles are available to apply one, two, or three gallons of spray per acre in this cone-shaped pattern, or four and six tenths, nine and one tenth, 13 and seven tenths, or 18 and 3 tenths gallons per acre in this fan-shaped pattern. This is based on 40 pounds per square inch at 5 miles per hour and two nozzles per 40-inch row or one nozzle every 20 inches. By changing the location of nozzles on the sprayer's boom, you can obtain any coverage desired. For example, here's how one nozzle centered over a 40-inch row sprays a corn plant. With two nozzles per 40-inch corn row, you obtain this coverage. Note how spray hits both the plant and soil. You can use row crop drops with or without a nozzle in between to direct the spray only on the plant and reduce the amount of chemical required for thorough coverage. This new swivel nozzle makes it easy to pinpoint spray from a row crop drop. Both 18 and 36-inch drops are available. A wide spray jet is available for all John Deere sprayers for broadcasting chemicals uniformly over large areas, such as pasture and grain fields. Width of coverage can be increased from 38 to 54 feet, and application rates obtained from 2 and 6 tenths to nearly 50 gallons per acre. Also available for all John Deere sprayers is this time-saving handgun spray attachment. Guns are used to spray fence rows, barns, livestock, trees, and weedy patches around buildings where a tractor cannot go. John Deere sprayers are convenient to transport because their booms fold straight up and are fastened securely to the sprayer's frame. John Deere sprayers last longer because they have corrosion-resistant connections, nozzles, pumps, and hoses wherever needed for protection against chemical spray material. Just as modern cultivators have replaced the hoe, tractors, the horse, and self-propelled combines, the old-fashioned binder and threshing rig, you can use today's agricultural chemicals to do a more efficient job of farming. Tests show that corn sprayed for weeds yielded 15 bushels more per acre. Alfalfa seed production was increased 143% and treated plants formed 83% more pods. Sprayed cattle gained an extra 50 pounds during a 100-day fly season. So it goes with livestock, row crops, legumes, and grasses. In a dozen ways, it pays big dividends to use the right chemical at the right time. When you apply it accurately and uniformly with a John Deere sprayer. Let's make a date to demonstrate one of these sprayers on your own farm soon.